I'm deciding I'm going to film this because I have so much energy that should not go to waste right now. I don't even know how. I swear to God, I was just like about to fall asleep earlier. Look at this necklace I got today. I am so obsessed. So I'm getting ready for a dinner date with my father, Ladwick. And right now I'm a mess. So we have a long ways to go. I don't even know what I'm going to wear, but it's going to be okay. I, I have an envisioned in my mind that I'm wearing a skirt. I don't own a skirt though. Like, I don't know why. The thing is, is that I really, I'm looking around my closet and I don't feel like I want to wear any of these clothing. I don't like wearing tank tops in restaurants because I always think I'm going to get cold. You know, I might just have to go ahead and hop in the shower. I always get pimples right here. And I think I must touch my face there a lot because they're so stubborn and they always pop up in the same place. I'm thinking about wearing this shirt. I think this is cute. I haven't worn this in a long time. I Hopefully it still fits me. I tried on my yellow shirt and I don't like the way it looks with my bra. And that's one of the most frustrating things because I can't have a bra for every single shirt. Right? I can't buy like 14 bras to make sure it looks good with each of these shirts. No. So I'm just going to donate that shirt because I'm frustrated that it never looks good. We're actually going to do a little unboxing because I got a new bra in the mail. I had this bra for years and I wore it like every single day like you do. And I, it's like it got so frustrating to wear and painful that I just threw it out one day. So I ordered a new one. It's from the brand Third Love. And they're so comfortable. Ugh. Oh. I missed her. Okay, I like this shirt, and I'm gonna think I'm, I think I can wear it with this bra. It's a little wrinkly, but I might just have to do. Can you hear me? Okay, awesome. First, I just had a call with the retreat that I'm going on, and I put my other shirt in the dryer on wrinkle care, so we're taking care of that. We're getting pieces put together. I'm going on this retreat with my mother to Mexico. Next week, I leave on Thursday, and I'm so, so, so excited. And he was calling me to ask if I had any questions about the retreat or anything. I'm out of breath. And the only thing that is off about this is that I don't think I'm allowed to have caffeine while I'm there. And if you know me, if you know me, it is not like casual coffee drinker. I love Alani Celsius. I used to do pre-workout, everything. It's gonna be difficult. So I've started to already kind of wane off my caffeine amount. So like yesterday, I only had half calf coffee. Today, okay, I did have a venti from Starbucks, but Moving on, super excited to go on this retreat. I think it's perfect timing, especially because I'm about to start kind of a new chapter in my life, going to college in a new space completely. And I feel like this retreat could be a great opportunity for me to like out with the old and with the new, reset, recenter. And I'm going with my mom, which is great because I get some quality time in with her too before I leave. That's what I'm doing dinner with my dad right now too is because I mean, A, it was on my 2023 bucket list to hang out with my dad alone, like one-on-one -on -one time, which I'm doing. By the way, I have three sisters. So a lot of time when we do family time, it's not just me and dad. And I know that's like, I could totally ask him to do more stuff, just me and him, but I don't. And that's why I wrote it on my list to do. Is it echoey in here? Is that bothering you? We used to do this thing as kids where we would go on dates with a parent. So we'd go in rotation, we'd each get a turn to pick a parent and you get to go out like to dinner, to go get your nails done. If you were a dad, you could ask him to go to a basketball game, etc. I missed that and so I asked dad to take me on a date and I'm super excited because he's taking me out to dinner. I am eating healthy right now unless you saw me last night at my last day of work because I feasted. But throughout my entire like working, I was always resisting food. I worked at Olive Garden. My last day, I was like, I'm going to indulge. I got the lasagna fritta sub meat sauce for marinara because I'm vegetarian. And I got a fettuccine alfredo. So last night, very unhealthy. But now today, back on my game, I had some salad for lunch. And then tonight I'm eating healthy. And dad was like, where do you want to eat? And I was like, Panera. He was like, I'm thinking a little nicer. So he got his reservations at a local place. Also, I want to try something new with my hair, which <sighs> I need more hairstyles I can do before I have clean hair. Obviously what's in right now is the trendy slick back hairstyles and I need to start getting into this. So I bought on Amazon a little slicky brush and the wax stick. Let's try this. 
My hair is disgusting right now. We're on day like four or five. So this does not seem safe. Okay, that seems pretty good. I don't know, should we do a ponytail? Half up, half down is kind of cute. I don't know how to do this. I should probably watch a video, but also I feel like I can kind of figure it out. What if we did half up, half down? So I need to set an alarm for five o'clock so I know when to pull it all together, okay? I am never late to things. I am such a punctual person. This is one thing I will pride myself on. I am punctual. Tell me to be there at a time. I will be there five minutes early. You know what I mean? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I mean, I'll take it. Should I pull out the two strands or is this kind of cute? For my first time, I mean, I look a little wet. Do you ever do something and you're like, I'm older, like I've aged and you realize that you're just older now? Because I that has happened twice to me today and I've realized, like I'm not saying I'm old, I'm just saying I've grown. I did an Amazon return today. I don't know why that hit me somewhere and I was like, why am I doing an Amazon return? Like, am I older now? And then also I saw a rug on Pinterest and I clicked, I went to the website to look at the rug rug it's a rug if i have to rave about one makeup product go buy this go buy this it's glowy super gel in shade star glow and it is literally fantastic it makes you glowy but it's not like shimmery if that makes sense and i use the milk makeup blush in shade work i've been doing a lot of packing for hawaii every time i add something to my suitcase i add another thing to my packing list so it's not like i'm actually getting anything done I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret that even my very, very best friend does not know. So, Sophia, if you're watching this, I'm getting pictures done on Tuesday, like portraits, some digitals, because I might, I'm submitting them. I don't know why I can't admit to this. Like as if I'm doing something wrong or anything. I am, getting digitals done so that way I can submit them to modeling agencies in Honolulu because I need a job while I'm in school and that could be a good job because it's just one job at a time, you know what I mean? It's not like you're going in for shifts. It's like you get booked and so that's like a less time consuming job, still pays well. I don't have to do anything except stand there, sit there, hold something, you know what I mean? So. I'm investing into some pictures, submitting them to agencies, and if I get nothing, who cares? Still have some cute pictures of myself that I can use for other things. And if I do, I get a job, which is perfect. I'm a little nervous because if you, again, if you know me, I never take pictures of myself. I never get pictures of me. If you're like, let me take a picture of you, I'm like, no, put your camera away. But I feel like on a one-on-one -on -one setting, and if I put it in like t in, in a creative setting, like I know that it's for work, if I know if I'm like, I can make money, I feel like I will really tap in. If I don't get anything, I'm not going to be upset because I'm not, it, this is not like I want to be a professional model for the rest of my life. This is like, I'm looking for work. This could be an easy opportunity. Maybe I'm underestimating the work that goes into it, but who cares? I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just open to trying a bunch of new things in general anyway. Like I want to have many different jobs in my lifetime. So why not model, you know what I mean? For like a year, like it doesn't really matter. I just am kind of down for whatever. Why not? Anyway, that's my little spiel about going into that. Just do what you want. Just do what you want. Just do what you want to do. If you want to try making a song, write a song. If you want to try YouTube, Upload a video, like please, like you know, just if whatever you're dreaming about or thinking about and you're like, oh, I could, that could be fun. Even if you end up hating it, please try it. Like, please just do stuff you wanna do. This life is so short and you're not gonna be like this young forever, you know? I don't know, just keep trying new stuff and who cares if anyone judges you or says anything to you about it. Like they're just jealous. If anyone's hating on you for trying something new, they're just mad that they don't have the courage or the bravery. Guys, put affirmations on your mirror. Put affirmations on your mirror, please. Like, just do it. It'll take you like five minutes max. 
and I literally just use sticky notes and they are literally so nice to see every single day and they help me with any like body dysmorphia issues or anything. I don't think I have body dysmorphia. I don't, I actually am not completely sure how someone would even diagnose that. But I know that sometimes I judge my body harsher than I should. So put affirmations up on your mirror. Put affirmations everywhere. Put them in your car, put them in your closet, put them on your home screen. It's a hack because every time you're seeing that, you're rewiring your thoughts to think positively and kindly about yourself, about your body. If you don't already, go download the I Am app. I will put it right up here or somewhere because it sends and you can turn on notifications and it'll send you affirmations throughout the day. Say them out loud. Get your friend to say them. Get your mom to say them. We're, we're trying to elevate here, okay? Hopefully my shirt's done de-wrinkling soon because I kind of want to put it on. One thing is I need new clothes. I don't need, I don't want to say that. I just, it's important. And my friend Mia the other day was really stressing the importance of dress for success and like confidence and feeling good and setting off your image and she put it so beautifully and I really realized that I don't have that many outfits that I feel like I'm that girl or I'm like I'm gonna slay if that makes sense and I need more clothes like that one thing though is I don't like buying retail so when I go to Goodwill, I get shirts I like, but I get shirts like this that are like big and oversized and like I like. And when I buy retail, I feel worse because I feel like I'm doing damage to the planet. I need a high-end thrift store. That's what I need. I'm going to go to the mall, I think, before I leave for Hawaii with my grandma. And I guess if I see anything there, I'm going to allow myself to buy it. I think going retail shopping... If you're gonna wear those clothes out like hard and I'm not gonna get any like super trendy stuff I'm, I always try to get like capsule wardrobe pieces if I'm buying expensive or on like retail for example I bought a skims bodysuit but that is so universal and I know I will wear that I've already gotten good use out of it and it's so basic like you can wear that I bought a black bodysuit like you can wear that so many so many times let me clean up a little bit whenever I get ready you guys probably do this too but I make the biggest that is mess. Okay, I'm pretty sure my shirt's completely de-wrinkled now. Let's see. I love technology, like seriously. Just solved my issues. Yay, it's clean. This is cute. I just have to put on shoes. I also want to show you guys my purse because it's so adorable. And actually, shout out to Michaela who got it for me for my birthday because it's literally such a sweet gift and I recently got robbed and they stole my purse and I loved that purse. It's okay though, it literally had holes in the bottom, like it was coming apart, like change would fall out. That purse's life was ending and now I have this one and I love it, it's so cute and I love it, I love it, I love it and it's big and it holds all my things and it doesn't have holes in it. The robbing thing was unfortunate, but I don't want to make it sound like I like something bad happened to me. It's literally they literally did not steal anything of importance at all. I'm actually perfectly fine. My ID is replaceable. The only thing that I okay, this is so first world, but they stole my Charlotte Tilbury lip liner, and that thing is like at least twenty dollars. <laughs> And I don't want to buy a new one, so I don't think I am. It's just a little sad because <laughs> i that's like one of the only lip products I love wearing. Except, of course, I still keep the Vaseline Rosy Lips. Oops, little chopstick. And I love this one. It is, it's perfect. Thanks for watching me get ready. My camera's about to die. My purse. Got my shoes. I will update you guys later.